With the return of peace in the northeast, most locals have returned home and are already settling down. But they're faced with several challenges, such as good access roads, shelter, among others. This is because during the surge of the dreaded Boko Haram insurgents, several infrastructure were destroyed. For instance, the Katako Bridge in Yobe State was blown off as a strategy to consolidate on their captured territories. Today, Governor Gaydam has come to open the reconstructed bridge and inspect other projects. First, the Commissioner for Works and Transport gives a breakdown of the level of work at the Damaturu Magza Road, which he says is 50% completed. This bridge was, uh, was completed long ago, Your Excellency, but uh, it was not open to the public for usage because we are anticipating that one day you will come and inspect it first before we allow the motorists to start enjoying it. So, Your Excellency, as you have personally come today, we hope that uh, the bridge will be put to use. Governor Gaydam is impressed and promises to construct more roads, schools and other infrastructure that will bring these communities back to life. It was in our plan to beautify Damatu Metropolis. It has to look like a, at least a state capital. A, uh, we are going to make it a municipality before our term ends in 2019. That was where we started. And this does not mean that we will overlook some other urban cities of Potiskum, Nguru, Gedam, and Geshwa. The governor also inspects the urban road renewal project. He has started very well and doing very well. The only thing is he has to increase the speed because you, uh, based on the agreement you signed, uh, he has six months to complete. Three months is now over. If he speeds up, I think in the next three months he will complete the structures. The Gay Dam administration insists it will not only develop the state capital, but will extend the gesture to other major towns across the state.